All right, guys, welcome back to MC Eternal. Guys, we are here all by ourselves this episode, unfortunately. We are done with the exploration episode, so we're getting back into some tech. And guys, uh, I'm kind of tired of destroying the Twilight Forest and destroying the Beneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into some quantum quarries today, which will allow us to basically simulate them. We can simulate any dimension we want and theoretically, hypothetically, mine from it. So, uh, I'm not really hype, but just, just, just trust me. So, what we need to do is we need to get these magical snow globes. So cool. So, we're going to need a total of six of these because we're doing six different quarries and you need one of these for each quarry. So, we have four, five, and six. Yep. So, what we need to do is we need to, of the, if you guys look, there are a couple of dimensions are a couple of air, our biomes, and it, we need to travel to any seven of these and just visit them. So uh, let's go ahead and see about doing that. And we're going to take a snow globe, and we're just going to fly around a little bit around the base. So we're in a lot of planes right now. But if we come on over, I know over here might count as something. This is a brush land. Brush lands don't do jack squat. Savannah, Vampire Forest, that was one of them. So we got another one. So we've hit Forest, Magical, and Plain. So we got three. We only need four to go. Uh, this is another Magical one. We probably won't get anything for it. Nope. We did not. Each of these get them as we go through them. So now we're just in a forest. There should be something. Yeah. So here we go. We went to a Sandy. It's a very Sandy. This is where I take all my screenshots. What about this one? Steppe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we just need one more. Now what do we need? Ocean. Let's go let's go find the ocean. Oops. We're or an unloaded territory. We need to look up the map. Where's the ocean at? Ah. This way. Alright, so as you can see. It now has like the enchanted look on it, and it says the entire world contained within a small glass globe. Perhaps our universe is not so different. So the snow globe has gathered all the information that we need and is now ready to be crafted up. So let's hit slash home, and we are good to go. So let's go ahead. We're going to need to make a total of six of these quantum quarries, just like this. And you need end stone, and you need the stone burnt. Two, three, four, five, and a number six. Perfect. So these are each a quarry to themselves, but they need these quarry activators. Now to make these, just a pickaxe and the stone burnt. So we're gonna make a total of six of these. We're gonna make seven just to be safe. Oh no, we need to make a lot more pickaxes. So it needs six of these first. We need to make 36. We need to make 36 of these guys. So let me make 36 of them and I will be back. All right, so we have our 36 quantum quarry actuators and our six quantum quarries. We also have six filters and all that. So we're gonna take the filters here and we're gonna grab one piece of cobblestone. We're gonna grab some dirt. That way we're not getting these items in our system here. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how this all works. Uh, oh, I, I kind of showed you a little bit of that last one. So I'm gonna actually build, I'm gonna be building another island over here, but I wanna set up one of these with you guys right now, just so you guys know what's going on. So in order to, to actually make one of these, you, we need to place it up. It can be up as high as you want it, but I'm gonna put it one block off the ground, and you need to actually place these on the faces itself. You can't just place them next to it or something like that. You have to actually physically place them on it and then after that's all done you should be able to click it and boom quantum quarry now this is where the biomarkers come in because we can put the biomarkers in here and we can go to the twilight forest we right click this and it goes hey this is the theoret the hypothetical twilight forest that we're mining from and we put it there and we're basically mining from the twilight forest now we go to the beneath we go to these different areas to get different items stuff like that like the mesa and all of that that i need and we put them in here. Now the filters go in here. We filter out what we what we don't want. So we go here like this, and we blacklist them from being able to go in. And now each of these have that filter. So very very cool. This also takes takes a book, so we can put fortune three in here. So so whatever it mines, it fortunes it. So we're going to be doing that. And then to add it 
uh, to have it go into our system here, um, let's grab our ender chest. All right, so in order to power this thing, right, we're gonna use our flux flux capacitor thingamabobber, our flux points, and this will supply it with power. Now, it's not gonna do anything. It says the biome it's replicating is a illicitocopicoticus for us. You know, I said that completely right. We'll put the filter in, and all you have to do is just put the chest here, and this thing starts going. But, 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 it takes 20,000 RF per tick, which is way too much, because we're only producing about 40,000 RF per tick. Look at the little guy. Oh, check that out. Preview of next episode. And uh, so, yeah, this takes a heck ton of power to run. But, guys, this thing is freaking fast as heck. Look at this. Look how fast this is mining. Yeah, it's delish. Now we're getting our resources again, and this will this will just mine and mine and mine until like it's until we end the server. So we never have to move this again. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna create the next island for all six of these torn. I think I'm actually gonna make another one for seven, just because it's a lucky number. And we'll be back. Alrighty, look at this good island. I just got done making it. It looks so pretty. It's a little higher than I would have liked, but we're gonna leave it because I like it. It's lower than that, so we're good. So all six of these guys are going to go here. So we need to figure out the best. Our, yeah, we're just going to do... I think we should do eight. Yeah, we should do eight. Okay, so one, two, three. So these need to have a three-block gap in between them. Um, I think we need to go over one more. I've got a glowstone, painted glowstone to look like um, grass. So that way it's all light. It's all lit here. Two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. This will look cool. Uh, one, two, three, bam. All right. So we're going to place each of the quantum cores on here. I did actually go ahead and make a few other quantum cores. Uh, before this, I was I actually tested out tested everything out. Because, you know, I'm a pro Minecraft player. All right, so I actually made way too many of these. Um, so we're have to, I'll, I'll just have to make a few more of them. But we're not going to have all of these running just yet because we need, let's see, 20 times 8. That's 160,000 RF per tick just to run these guys. So we got, we got a little ways before we can do that. So I'm just going to pop down here. Oh, this is fun. Oh, well, we place that. Should have thought about this. I didn't make this very easy on myself. F7 is on. I should probably turn that off. And then I'm just going to gonna pop it down right here. Pop it like it's hot. And then pop it down right here. Can I make that? Nope, can't make that. Ah! Nani? Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now we can start doing this shenanigans. So one up. Two up. Three up. Four and five. Okay, so these are going to be where we put all of our all of our dudes, and we're each going to have these export out the front here, like so. Bam! Wouldn't be a bad idea though to get all the chests placed. If I'm just being honest, so we can place them all here like that. Okay. So now we need to get power to each of these. Now we can't actually run all of these at 100%, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to run most of them just at 5,000 RF per tick. And if we look, we're still mining pretty quick, though it could be faster. We don't want those going into our inventory. We're gonna put a fortune book in here and we're good. So I'm gonna do that for the other ones. All right, and 5,000 for this guy. And 5,000 for this guy. 
set it to our network here. All right, and then we put the filters so we don't see them. We don't get the crap stuff. That's a spooky forest. This is a roofed forest. Hmm. Very roofy. How roofy of you. Okay, and then we set this to 5,000 as well. And to our power. So now this is running. Yep, good to go. Bam, bam. Yeah, we'll just set it to this. Okay, so we got each of these quarries going. Now, these are all randoms, like wetland. We got spooky forest. We got roofed forest. We have a beach. And we have the rat, rat landers. Okay, so we're going to leave that one. We don't need to worry about changing that one up. But the other ones we're going to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and go to home tea quarry. This will get us to the twilight forest. So we just click it like that. And we grab that guy. Home. But... Home slash beneath, do this, click it, slash home. Okay, so we're going to leave Ratlandis, like I said, but we don't want the beach. We're going to put the beneath here. Now, this has been changed to the beneath. Um, and then we really don't want a roofed forest, so we're going to go twilight forest on this one. So now we're mining just like we were in the twilight forest. It's all hypothetical now. And as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff coming in. Now... One that I want to do, slash home between lands. But we're going to lose all of our golden apples. Yep. It's rotten food. Ew. So do that. Then home, because we don't want to be in the between lands for that. We don't have any reason to be there anymore. <laughs> Maybe if we ever replay this mod back, we'll, we'll start there. So now we're back here. I understand that's kind of a little cheaty, but I don't really care. Okay, so you, where's that Twilight Forest, Spooky Forest, you're going to be, oh, Patchy Islands. I guess it's not really the beneath, but we will, or the between lands, but it, I guess it's okay. Ratlandis, I like that one a lot. But this does mean, though, is we need to upgrade our power gen, and I'm going to, I'm going to do these, the rest of these off camera, so let's see. So eight times five is 40, so we actually don't have enough power to run all of these, and I think I'm running this at 100% which is bad. Means all of our power is going bye-bye. Um, we're just gonna break this guy. Okay, come up here. Actually, we can, we can make another working one. Huh. Bam, one. Too. So I don't need to make that much more to get all these guys up and running. But we're going to hit the limit on this one again to the 5k. Like so. We're actually going to chunk load this. All right. And these are working. So we need to go. Oh, we have a filter. We're going to grab a filter. Come on. Filter here. And then I do have another fortune book. And we should cold taiga hills. I don't know if that's a good one. But uh, that's working, working like a dream. We also got another four of these. Maybe I give them, maybe I give one of them to Butcher or something like that. Maybe he'll like it. Okay, so I'm gonna make up the other quantum core actuators and then we'll, we'll wrap things up here. All right, so all eight of these are going. I've actually limited them down to 3000 RF per tick each. Uh, we were pulling way too much power with all of the, the stuff we were generating and our ME system keeps randomly shutting off. I don't really know the main issue behind that. Uh, if we go here like this, I was told that we need more power storage. And so I added a whole bunch of max generator, but look, I just turned off there. Um, so I'm not really sure what the heck is going on with the system here. Um, as you can see, I've got a few, we've got a few dense energy cells down here. I've got one, two, three, four total. And it keeps shutting off like that. These are directly attached to the ME controller. So I don't know if these are glitching out or something like that. They're even attached to this here with energy acceptors. Um, I guess powering most of them except for these two. 
But uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys know what's going on with the Emmy system, please do let me know down in the comment section. Uh, and I think we're getting pretty, pretty full over here. Uh, we have very little storage left. So we're going to need to move into this guy here pretty soon. And this is going to be one heck of a project. Just these alone took me like three hours to set up. Uh, these are our new auto crafting areas. These are already set up. We're auto crafting from here. But we have the storage to set up. And each one of these will require their own Emmy Quantum Chamber Link thingamabobber. So that's going to be one heck of a project that we're going to work on next episode. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I love your face. Peace out. Bye-bye.